Welcome to African Gardening. There's a lot, a lot of people that have been asking, okay, how do I pollinate my sarsaw flower? How do you pollinate my sarsaw flower? So let me uh, teach people how to pollinate sarsaw flowers. So this is my sarsaw tree. Uh, this tree is almost three years old. And this is the third fruiting. If you look at my previous video, I had pollinated successfully 80 flowers and I got 80 fruits from this sarsaw tree. Right now, I've started pollinating the flowers because this is a flowering season. And right now, I have uh, I've pollinated about 70 flowers. One thing you must uh, understand about sarsaw trees is that sarsaw flowers are hermaphroditic in nature. They are hermaphrodites. What does that mean? They have male and female sexual organs. However, the sarsaw flower becomes a female before it becomes a male. When it is a female, that is the time it will be able to receive pollens. However, these pollens cannot come from that female because it has to be a female before it turns to a male whereby it will release pollens. So what happens is that you will have to get pollens from another flower who has stopped uh, that has stopped being a female and has now turned to a male. When a sarsaw flower is male, that is when it releases pollens. On the screen, you can see the female flower showing the stigma. Then on the screen, you can see the male flower, which has now uh, dispersed pollens and it is covered with pollens. So, we need to understand that. We need to understand that. Once you understand this, then you can pollinate your sarsaw flower properly and get lots and lots of fruits. I can tell you, hand pollination brings the best result. I mean, I've seen uh, lots and lots of people, they are frustrated because their sarsaw trees keep bringing flowers year in, year out, every month during the flowering season, and they do not have fruits. So the reason why you are not having fruits is simply because your flowers are not pollinated. So our soft flowers are pollinated naturally and unnaturally. So natural pollinators of soft flowers are uh, 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 scarab beetles and ants. But ants are lazy pollinators. You cannot have successful pollination or efficient pollination with ants. However, beetles are efficient pollinators because they can fly. One species of beetle that is very efficient in pollinating sarsaw flowers is the scarab beetle. But in many parts of the world where sarsaw was not naturally uh, located, you know, people took the seedlings to other countries, but when they were taking the plants to other countries, they did not take the, uh, the natural pollinators. So in such a case, or perhaps due to environmental conditions, uh, the natural, the efficient natural pollinators like scarab beetles, they are not available. In that case, you have lots and lots of flowers, but you will not have any fruits. So this is very important. So in the absence of natural pollinators, you now have one option, and that option is hand pollination, using your hands. And for me, I prefer that because I am sure of what I'm doing, and I'll get the results that I want. So now that you understand that, so let's go and search for a flower that is no more female but male. So the first thing you do, you look under your sarsaw tree and then you can see petals. So these are petals. So these are the petals. These are the petals from the flower. Anytime you see these petals, anytime you see these petals, you can see the yellow in color. Anytime you see the petals, it simply means, so these are petals. So these are petals. So these are petals that my hand is pointing there. That's the petal there. And so this is an outer petal so this is an inner petal so you have three sets of flowers have outer petals and inner petals so when it turns to male all the petals both inner petals and outer petals they will fall off so the next thing you do is for you to come up and look up at the exact point where you have the petals and start searching so let's start searching aha i can see here so look at the pollens all right, so we got the pollens here. Now we found the pollen. So you can see, look at that very well. So you have the pollen tubes and the pollens. The pollens are the yellow objects, where the pollen tubes are the darker color 
or, or cylindrical uh, shaped objects you can see the pollens there so we're going to gather the pollens it is the pollens that you will use to pollinate your soursop uh, 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 flower so you need this pollens so this flower you're looking at now it has turned into a mill beside it is a young flower uh, that is still a flower pod it is yet to turn into a, a female so like I said the flowers will first turn to female before it turns to male all right so what you need uh, we've already identified uh, the male flower that has released pollens so what we need we need a brush so that's that brush and we need a brush and a container already there are pollens here but I want to get more pollens so this are pollens I got yesterday so you need a container where you store your pollens and then you need the brush all right so I'm gonna start uh, by gathering the pollens with the brush so that's it so you see the brush will come uh, I've already removed the pollens so can you see the brush you can see the yellow pollens on the brush so this brush now is covered with pollens it's covered with pollens now we can use this pollens to pollinate so this flower is ready to be pollinated uh, the uh, external petals the outer petals are open inner petals are closed uh, sometimes inner petals are open but the main thing is for you to have uh, the outer petals open once they are fully open like this, you know that the flower is ready to be pollinated. Uh, inner petals, when they are closed, it simply means that natural pollinators cannot have access. So the beetles or the ants cannot have access. And this is very, very uh, important to know that it's only, it's very important to know that in such a situation, only hand pollination can give you the best uh, 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 results in this kind of scenario it's only hand pollination that can give you the best result because I can open it with my hand I can open the inner petals and pollinate the flowers so this is one of the clear advantages of hand pollination so watch me how I open the inner petals with just one hand to successfully pollinate this flower so I got my pollens so the first thing I do I'm just gonna open this with my hand All right. Once I do that, there you go. So, this has been pollinated. I make sure it covers the stigma. The stigma is the st is that in the center. So that's the stigma. That's the stigma right there. So this is the stigma. You need to rub the pollens on the stigma. Yes, so you need to rub the pollens on the stigma. So you can see that, you see the pollens are reduced on the brush. I use a brush, so don't use anything else. And uh, in some videos they tell you to use a glue, you don't need to do that, you don't need any glue. Just rub your pollens there and you'll be fine. So this has been pollinated. So I got my pollens on the brush, so we're gonna pollinate the flower now. So the flower is ready to be pollinated. So I'm just gonna pull my hand and spread it to reveal the stigma that is the stigma you can see the stigma so i'm rubbing my pollens on it so this is hand pollination hand pollination so in some places ants pollinate or scrub beetles but the most effective way of pollination is by hand so this is hand pollination this is hand pollination you can see that so this is already covered so that's the stigma it has to be covered with pollens you can see all the pollens uh, there are no more uh, this is our soft tree produced about 80 fruits so I've harvested several times so this is another round of harvest one of the things you should know is that uh, to get uh, lots of fruits from our soft tree you need to use the method of hand pollination. You cannot rely on insects for pollination. A whole number of the insects, they are not efficient pollinators. So hand pollination gives the best results. And guess what? When you do hand pollination as well, you have fruits that are like this. Look at the shape of this. Look at the shape of this, you can see. It has a nice shape, it's not ugly. So these are the results of hand pollination. 
let me show you another one here. Come here and see this. So look at that. So these are the results of hand pollination. You have uh, fruits that are well shipped and uh, of a good size as well. So that's what hand pollination gives you. Of course, sometimes uh, if you have efficient pollinators, you will still get some uh, uh, well, nice shaped and uh, large uh, uh, fruits. Uh, but ants, for example, they are poor pollinators. If they don't pollinate properly, as such, you won't have a nice uh, uh, shape uh, of the fruits if you uh, allow ants to pollinate. Basically, what happens is the stigma of sarsop requires to have the surface area covered 100% by pollens for you to get this shape. Any sarsop fruit that has an ugly shape or a shape that's not uh, like this, it simply means it's an incomplete pollination, which means uh, the so maybe about half or even one third of the surface area of a stigma of a flower was not covered by pollens. To get nice shapes like this and large fruits, you need to ensure you have uh, the surface area of the stigma completely covered by pollens. That I'm, I mean, the stigma of a flower should be completely covered by pollens. Of course, some insects do this, like the scarab beetle, but if you don't have a scarab beetle, you will have to use your hand. So hand pollination gives the best uh, results. You can see here, uh, I mean, all my fruits, we had about 80, we removed some. Uh, look at this. Look at this huge one here. Aha, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So when you do hand pollination, you can get a success rate between 90 to 100 percent. Yes, 90 to 100 percent. So that's the kind of success rate you get here. Uh, if you want lots of fruits from the sour soft tree and fruits that have this nice shape and not the scary ugly shape, you need to learn the skill of hand pollination of sour soap so that you can get lots and lots of fruits. Like I said earlier, we've got about 80 fruits here. The 80 pollinated fruits, we've harvested a lot. There are still a lot of, uh, of fruits, uh, of flowers, well, fruits that are in the quiescent period.